Hey y'all, I'm Laura and welcome back to your Company Notions. So I'm going to jump right into this. I have a couple of things to chat about today. The first one, as you may have seen in the thumbnail, is the state of our house and move and all of that stuff. See, let's talk about what we know. We know that I accepted a position at a company um, located in Boston. I do not live in Boston. I live in North Carolina. And so my husband and I have been planning to move from North Carolina to Boston for the past several months. Put our house on the market. It sold. The sellers backed out. We did some repairs. We put it back on the market in October. Since then, we have yet to have any bites or offers or anything like that. And granted, it's only been like six weeks. However, the COVID is raging all across the country. North Carolina is much warmer than Massachusetts. And most importantly, I there was a town hall meeting for my company on Thursday last week and where it was announced that the return to office um, plan had been extended to July of 2021 which means that everyone in my company is working remotely until at least 2021. To which my husband and I said, we'll see you in 2021. So the drama for the last God knows how many months has been uh, around the house. So the good news is y'all don't have to hear about it any longer because we have officially pulled the house off the market and we are here until sometime in the spring. So what that means is my backdrop may or may not change, but I kind of like this table right here. So like I have my table right here, like next to, to this chair and it kind of fits really well. And if I put it where it used to be, then I'll probably be able to see it on, anyways, it's a whole thing. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet. Um, but it also means that maybe I can get into like a little more of a thing. So we're not constantly like, oh my gosh, I'm going to clean, I'm going to do this, I'm going to like keep everything like absolutely pristine and not that I'm going to let it go to hell in a handbasket, but a little calmer, just, just a little bit calmer. So there's that update. The update is we're here for the time being, at least six more months, if I had to venture a guess. Because like even like if we put the house back on the market like July 15th, I mean not July, excuse me, like February 15th, even if it's sold in like two weeks, you're talking like a closed date, like you're not moving until April in November so we'll see you there um so yeah we're here for a while which is fine it's fine it's all good the not so good part is like half of our ish is packed away and in the garage and I asked my husband to go searching for my tubs of winter clothes that I had packed away because we would not need them here before anyways. So I have my winter clothes back, which is lovely because I've been looking for some sweaters because it is a chilly 64 here in North Carolina today. Yay. It's good. It's fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs> the other thing that I did want to announce is I have a huge birthday giveaway. That's right. November is my birthday month. And to celebrate my birthday month, I am giving you all some presents. I do not have these presents near me because that would mean that I planned ahead. I actually have them in the other bedroom in a closet all wrapped up and ready to go. So here's how it's going to work. Today, today's the 14th. This video is going up on the 16th. So this video is going to go up on November the 16th. My birthday is November 26th, which happens to be Thanksgiving. So I am not going to pull on Thanksgiving because we're gonna be here and I'm gonna make turkey for like the first time in my life. I have to make a turkey dinner. That's another story. So <laughs> this giveaway is going to go from today, Monday, the 16th until the 27th. So Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving, Friday, November the 27th. I am giving away not one, not two, not three, but four. Yes, four prizes for um, my birthday. Now, now that I have time to plan it out and I'm not like filming in bulk, I'm actually going to record things that are going up on the certain days they're gonna go up, which is like mind blowing, isn't it? Um, so I'm gonna chat about this, but this is the video. You're gonna comment on this video, okay? And you're gonna comment, hashtag happy birthday. 
that's all I need. A little happy birthday. Just hashtag happy birthday would be fantastic. And I will pick four winners off of that. So what do you have to do? You have to be one, a subscriber. Got to subscribe to my channel. Number two, you have to live in the contiguous United States. Sorry, our friends in Alaska and Hawaii and our friends to the north and the south and across the pond. I love you, but shipping does not love you, especially for four, right? I'm going to pick the top four people. So again, hashtag happy birthday. You do have to be at least 18 or older. You have to like this video. You have to subscribe to my channel or already be subscribed um, to my channel to do that. So yes. This is a total long shot, but if anybody like wants to send me a birthday card, but you totally don't have to, like I'm not like coming after it. But anyways, I did update my info section on, well not the info section, but like the drop down section in on my videos. So my address is listed there. I'm in like going back and forth. I'm sure I got a PO box. Should I not get a PO box? So I was going to move. So I didn't need a PO box. But anyways, I just put my address on there because the house, like if you want to buy my house when it's not for sale right now, I mean, that's cool too. And if you wanted to come and like rob me, my dog is an asshole. So I would advise against it. Okay, so <laughs> anywho, four subscribe, four winners, hashtag happy birthday. Um, and we're gonna go from now until November 27th when I'm going to do this drawing. They're all boxed up, they're all wrapped up. Like I've, I've had these sitting back there. I'm just, I'm like, we're just gonna do it for the birthday. We're just the birthday thing, it's fine, bye. All right, so I'm gonna do a bit of a thrift haul for you as well. You're like, geez, Lara, house update giveaway and a thrift haul and boy your hair looks long in this video yes I don't know why my hair has grown exponentially which I don't need it to anywho so I'm gonna get into a thrift haul I have been on the search for some vintage Christmassy and thanksgiving e things so I wanted to show you some of what I picked up recently so first things first I picked up this judgmental pilgrim so you see her? She's judging you. She is. And she got that look on her face and like she, mm. So I picked her up at the thrift store. I think she was $1.99 or 99 cents. She might've been 99 cents. And she is, she is tired of your ish is what she is. Now on the bottom here, it says made with coal from Wales. So she looks to be a little carved coal. Jesus. Sorry, boy, she'd really judge me if a broker. Um, she's probably judging her because, like, where's her, like, where's her pilgrim man? I don't know. Like, where's John Smith? He's probably off with Pocahontas. You know, she pissed off about it. So I picked her up, and this is good because I needed to haul her to put her out with my other Thanksgiving decor before the time hath passed. Going along with that same Thanksgiving e theme, I picked up this little turkey with a pilgrim hat on he's got a little hole in him i think he's a toothpick holder maybe i don't know maybe a little thanksgiving toothpicks because he's too small like you can't put a candle in there and his head's kind of wonky so anyways i also picked up this guy and i picked this up at the e to z thrift store when i was there the other day and he was like a whole dollar 99 also hella cute so my little turkey man. So they are going to go downstairs in my dining room with the other Thanksgiving decor pieces. So yes, we're going to do that. Speaking of Thanksgiving decor pieces, I stopped at a different thrift store. So this is Rabbit Trails, Rabbit Tails Vintage Store. Um, it's on the way to the chiropractor. I don't tell you. <laughs> I usually don't stuff in there because like most of their stuff isn't really vintage and it's kind of overpriced and I'm like this isn't vintage so but what I did go in looking for were um, some napkins I found this cute set of napkins which I thought was just adorable so it was a set of six but there were more of these these burgundy napkins so you got three of these here with like this little you know leaf on it and then these napkins here like they just kept coming out and i thought there was only three of these but i think there's six there's six of these actually and so these just plain old like burgundy napkins i really got it for these ones here but they only had six they only had three in the pack and not the four that i needed so anywho i think these like again this wasn't a vintage store this is like a boutique store they call it vintage like to get you in but it ain't vintage um i think these were 12.99 
for the set of three. Set of six, which was actually nine. So, so pick those up. I've already put two of the two of these and two of the burgundy on the plates on the table in my dining room. So these other, so this Judgy Pilgrim is gonna go with them uh, and sit down there. Yes. So the other thing I picked up at that little vintage not vintage store, was this really cute picture. And I don't know why, it just seemed very November-y. I think it's because, so for those of you with birthdays, in November, citrine is our birthstone. So it's like very like orangey, um, mustardy colors that like I associate very much with November. And this one here, like, and I think, it's not like a chrysanthemum or anything like that, but I just felt that this 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 little picture screamed November. I don't know why, but don't you hear it say November? Because I do. I do. Anywho, and this, it was made by the Cash family, hand-painted in the USA. And this little guy was $6.99, and I thought, this is a fine reminder of my last, knock on wood, November in North Carolina. So I thought that was hella cute. And that was a little birthday present from me. All right, moving on, more thrifty goodness. I went to my favorite thrift store around the corner. There's a bunch of thrifty things here. It was like a handful of like, I got some of this here and I got some of this there. But these guys came out of a $2 grab bag. And if you know anything about Laura, I love a $2 grab bag. Love, love it. As long as it's not broken or like dirty, I'll probably get like most grab bags. So look at her. I don't know what she's looking at. She got some feelings though, but she's looking over here. I don't know what's happening, but she was this little crocheted girl with those weird crocheted arms with her little muff and her hands are just one big string. She got this little hat on, which I thought was precious. Her hair is a little jacked up, but that's okay. Because when this hat's been on you, I mean, this hat's probably been on you for a good long time. I mean, is it any idea that your hair wouldn't be all messed up? So she came in a bag with her sister. This is her sister. I assume so. Who is giving her some stank eye. Like, I think they're fighting about something. But again, hella cute crochet goodness with their little outfits. And then they have a snowman who also has a little crocheted hat and these guys were two dollars and I thought that is adorable for two dollars I mean come on like how are you gonna pass this up for two dollars this thing's hella cute right so I am going to have a little vintagey section since now clearly since I'm going to be here I will be Christmas decorating on the 27th because we have Thanksgiving here first Speaking of that, since we aren't going anywhere for Thanksgiving, I'm making Thanksgiving dinner for the first time by myself. It's fine. Like, I can fundamentally make each of the pieces of Thanksgiving dinner, so it shouldn't be that hard to make Thanksgiving dinner. I usually just rely on other people to make it for me, like family. Um, and the one year that we didn't go away for family, this was like six, seven, eight years ago, I ran a five, no, I ran a half marathon like one Thanksgiving morning, and then we went out to dinner that night, and it was delicious because there was no way in hell I was going to run a half marathon and then cook Thanksgiving dinner. Anywho, moving on. Yeah, going to make Thanksgiving dinner. Day after, then we'll decorate. So in the same place where I picked up the Judgy Pilgrim, I also picked up this girl here. And I don't know, I saw her there a couple of times. She's been there for a while. And the fact that she made it through... At the thrift store she was a dollar without getting like all broken up i thought and she just she looks so sad like she is pleading for something and i don't know what it is but i felt like i needed to do something about it so she's going to go into probably my tiered tray downstairs in my living room no in my kitchen no laura in the dining room as part of my christmas because as you saw in yesterday's video, the Dollar Tree plates. So those have like holly and that on them. So the dining room is going to be more holly e e e, right? And then I have a place in the living room, like on top of one of my cabinets, that's going to be like my vintage space. And then the most of the rest of the house is going to be a flocked woodland critter Christmas. 
my husband looks at me the other day. He's like, I'm not like here to judge, but it's all the stuff that's come into the house for, you know, fall and Christmas. And is anything going to leave the house? And I said, well, yes, yes, it is. We're going to, we're going to do a bit of a purge. Nary you fret, my love. We're going to do a purge. And some of the stuff that I've had just for years and years and years is going to go. And he's like, oh, good, good. But yeah, we're changing it up this year. It's all, it's all good. Um, so also with the Judgy Pilgrim, I picked up this like soapstone squirrel and I don't know, he's probably just resin, but he was a dollar. And I thought, again, this would go great in the tiered tray for fall. So I'm going to put him downstairs in that tiered tray, but he's just very fall. And I figured I'd like clip this thing off his head, but he was a dollar. I think he's just a cute little squirrel figurine. That's the thing about tiered tray. You get a tiered tray, you can put all kinds of ish in there. You see a little something for a dollar, put it in tiered tray. Not sure where to put it, shove it in the tray. It's fine. This is not going in the tiered tray. This is just a little um, little pitcher, a little creamer that I picked up. It does say it's made in Romania, which I thought was cool. So it's porcelain from Romania and it's got this really cool, um, nice gold edge on it. It's in really good shape. I don't know how old it is. I didn't check, but it was $2 and I thought it was cute. So to go with my little collection of creamers that I'm collecting. Hmm. If I wasn't mostly lactose intolerant, probably make a lot more sense. Let's see. Also here at the, um, when I got the Judgy Pilgrim, I picked up this really cute planter. Can you see that? You know, I'm, I'm like low key, high key obsessed with like black background and, um, and floral, like love, love, love this black background and floral so, so much. So this was $2.99. And I don't think this is like, I was thinking it's stuck. Oh, the tag is stuck on here. I ain't getting this off. I was gonna say, I think, I don't think this is anything like, no. Let's see if it was anything like special and different, but no chips, no cracks. Um, That might be a crack, Never mind. Anywho, oh, and there's a chip, whatever. I don't care. Oh, that is a crack. I'm not gonna pull on it though. Um, it's fine. It's cute. It'll get some flowers in it. Probably not this year, but probably next year. Um, let's see, moving on. I also, at that pause for pause when I got the Judgy Pilgrim, I also picked up this bag of pine cones. These are supposed to be cinnamon scented pine cones. They have lost their cinnamon scent, but I don't care. I need some extra pine cones. To be honest, like, it's kind of like, why are you buying pine cones when you have, like your house is surrounded by pine trees? Cause those pine trees, their cones are hard. And sometimes they, they smell. And then when they go on the ground, like if you don't catch them right away, they start to decompose and they're gross. So if I can get a bag of pine cones for a dollar, yes, yes I will. Um, last couple of things here. I picked up this really cute creamer that does not have a match. This here is actually a St. Nicholas Fitz and Floyd creamer. I'm pretty sure it was a creamer. It's probably missing its lid as well, but I didn't care because I was going to like put some flowers or like a bottle brush tree in here or something. Um, this is going to make me recall my Roman numerals. So, um, 1978. 1978 was this bad boy. So I thought that was cute. I almost I almost bought this like one time I was there and I was carrying it around and I put it down on a shelf somewhere else, not where it goes. And then I went back like several, several days later and it was still where I put it down and thought it was a sign. So I picked it up. Last couple of things that I will show you on the thrifty side. I picked up this Merry Christmas. She was a dollar ninety nine and I feel this very much looks like Rhonda Reindeer from like Hallmark back in the day. Remember Rhonda Reindeer? Anyway, she got her tag cut off. So I'm not certain. But anyways, I, I thought she was very like reminiscent of that little shelf sitter. So since she is a woodland critter, she can come to my house for the Christmas. Yes. Then last, almost last but not least, I picked up this really cute needlepoint um, and this was what a dollar ninety nine. 
and I just love these things. They're so vintagey and fantastic. And you know, somebody's mom like made this and I know they just glued this ribbon on the back, but I don't care. And this just hangs on your wall. So it's gonna hang on my wall over in my little vintagey section where those girls are gonna go, um, where my ceramic trees are gonna go. So those videos that I posted before where I hauled like those ceramic trees, I, my husband and I were just like out shopping and we were at a couple of like country stores and like boutique -y things like in downtown Wake Forest. And oh my God, those trees, they're selling them like new for like $150, like $150 for this insane. And so I thought I was kind of paying a lot when I paid like $40 for one and 30 for the other, but apparently it was a hella good deal because if not, it's $120, ridiculous. Price of nostalgia, y'all. All right, and last and certainly not least, I picked these up at the thrift store. So these are vintage holiday napkins, cocktail napkins. And there was four of these for $1.99. And then there was another pack that were three of them for $1.49. So I appreciate that they, they chose appropriately depending on the price. So I do have some Christmas napkin rings uh, with the holly on them that are going to go downstairs on my dining room table with these cocktail napkins on top of those Dollar Tree plates. So yeah, that was, that's it for this particular haul video. So it was a lot and I talked a lot about a lot of things and I can't tell if it's my lipstick or my lips are blue because I'm cold, but that is all of that. So if you made it through the end, you definitely should like hit that like button and that subscribe button because damn. You made it through 21 minutes of me and you. Uh, so yeah, so please go ahead and hit that like button. I hope y'all are doing well. Don't forget to um, to comment down below for my birthday giveaway. Like I said, we're gonna have four winners for the birthday giveaway. So please go ahead and comment down below. Make sure you are a subscriber. But yeah, I hope you all are staying safe and sane and healthy in this resurgence of COVID. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all soon. Bye.